So, Wapataya, uh, Bridis, Breedis 2. Um, they fought in 2022. So, if you knew, if you don't know who uh, Breedis is, or Bridus, whatever you want to call him, and Opataya, okay, Bridis, um, he is a, uh, is he Hungarian? He's not, no, he's Latvian, isn't he? Um, I'm sure he's Latvian. He's Latvian Vita. <clears throat> And uh, a Latvia, or Latvian fighter, a Latvian fighter, he comes from Latvia, Christ man, what am I doing, um, he's a cruiserweight, he's got, uh, so he's orthodox, obviously Opatia's southpaw, okay, um, he's orthodox, he's got a height of 6'1 and a reach of 75, so he fought um, Opatia back in 2022 and lost, okay, and I believe that's his last fight um so now he's obviously fighting for the belts again um Opatia holds two belts at the minute I can't remember what two they are uh, maybe he only holds one uh, is it the IBF that he's um I can't remember basically he va- basically Opatia back in 20 well back like three months ago in 2023 uh Opatia vacated his belt and um, for to fight Elis Zorro on the Inganu Fury undercard, um, and so he vacated the belt, and then like four weeks later, they're like, "Are you going to take this fight for the for the belt?" Like IBF, it's definitely the IBF. I'm not 90 sure of it. And um, so now, Bright, he took the belt of Bridis, um, Bridis, and um, Opatai did. He vacated the belt, and now he's fighting for that belt again. He's already... It's just a strange one. So, if you don't know much about Breedis, he's a very... Um, he's a good fighter. He's extremely good. He's boxed um, Usyk. Um, yeah, IBF World Cruiserweight title that they exchanged in 2022, okay? So, this is... Let, let's just start by saying this is a bit of a grudge match. Uh, um, Breedis is... He, he wants his belt back, okay? He, he wants his belt back. I, I wouldn't say it's a horrible grudge match, and I don't think there's much of it coming from Optire's side, but certainly from Breedy's side, I think he feels that, you know, he needs that belt back. He wants he wants to prove that maybe Optire was a one-off. Um, now, if I, the way I see this fight going, simply put, is um, I thought about this, and uh, if you, do you ever play chess? Right, if you play chess, you'll know what I mean. There's two variations in chess. Uh, well, there's like millions of variations. No, I mean like there's two variations of playing the game. Um, but even though then there's like a lot more. I think there's like chess three six five in there or something along those lines where the pieces are arranged. There's loads of different variations. The ma- two majority of variations in chess is either uh, speed chess or classical chess. Okay, so speed chess is like, I don't know, three minute games. Yeah, classical chess is like you play a game over about six weeks. Do you know what I mean? One game. It's like it's classical chess is the real master's chess where you can spend hours on a move. Now, that's how I'd explain Breedis first Opatire. Um, Opatire is speed chess. Breedis is classical chess. Um, they're both very, very good. Like, Breedis has got an extremely good boxing IQ. The, the amount of issues he calls Usyk was unreal. Um, he, he really knew, I noticed he really knew how to get his foot on the outside of Usyk again because he's a southpaw. And if you know anything about Opatire, Opatire, one of Opatire's favourite fighters is Usyk. So they're gonna. So it's basically Usyk again versus um, Breedis. It's not because Opatire is different, but you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, I wrote some notes down here because Breedis in the first fight um, just struggled a little bit. I, not struggled, struggled, but he, he couldn't. He was getting beat to the punch a lot. And uh, I noticed in this is the fight, by the way. This is the first fight. Um, he getting he, he just getting a beat by the punch. He wasn't his head movement wasn't good, um, and I just thought like it, it was. It might have just been an off day, but Bride Breedus isn't. Um, he isn't. He isn't known to be an overly active fighter. Now, he is, I believe, he's uh, 38 or something now. Um, so, he's he's getting there. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's um, 
I can't I can't see his date, but I believe he's he's late thirties basically. So he's getting there. So you've got his young cat Opatire coming in with all the, the, the you know the in and out, the perfect boxing, the pressure fighter, um, because he is Opatire is a is a true pressure fighter. Um, he puts it on you all the time. He, I can only imagine it's similar to Pacquiao in a sense. Just you, you constantly second guessing yourself, and it just didn't work for breeders. So. Um, this fight, the only thing I'll say is this fight is going to be an immense fight. Um, this is going to be a real, a real a prove your worth appetite. Um, not that he already hasn't because we all know appetite is amazing, but this fight will cement him. Yeah. Because he's, if he gets to win over Bridus again, um, it's going to, it's going to be like a big tick. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be the big, right. You've done it. You know, you proved yourself. It wasn't a one-off, even though we know it wasn't. But, you know, it could go, could end up in a trilogy, this fight. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, the points I need, I wanted to make was, so, um, he definitely needs to be more active. Bridus, I'm talking about. Um, he, he... He wasn't active in the first fight. He wasn't active enough. He needs to be more active, more. He was so good against Usyk. He needs some of that back. Um, again, it might be his age um, that's coming into play Play with it all. Uh, needs more head movement, which I said. Um, he's got really good counters, actually. And um, in the later rounds, um, Opatar, that's true. That's the point. Um, so in the he's got really good counters, Bridus. Um, he's, he can certainly counter very well. In the later rounds, rounds against Opatire, he he landed some really solid shots. Opatire just walked through him. So I, I I do question whether he's got the power to take Opatire out because if I remember rightly, he landed this beautiful um this beautiful overhand right. And Opatire just walked through it. And I, I was like if I took that I would have been down. So, mind you, I'm, I don't even know. I haven't had my chin tested because I don't... I, I mean, I did box a little bit. I've done loads of sparring and stuff. But, um, yeah, mind you, I have had my chin tested, yeah. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to handle that. Um, I would have been on the floor um, ringing my mum up to take me home and cook me a roast dinner. I would have had enough. Um, but Opatai just handled it. So, got that in there. Um, Bridie's footwork was a bit slow. Needs more offensive. Uh, he can't stand going over the back. He can't start going over um, the back foot as it will show weakness. So what, what I mean by this is he he was very on the back foot a lot. And I think Opatai see it as weakness. Um, if you watch the fight, he, he just wasn't, he didn't impose dominance, you know. And um, Opatai, I think, just see it as weakness. So he can't start coming on that back foot. He, if he wants to win the fight, he needs to keep, he needs to really put the pressure on a little bit on Opatai. Not constantly, but needs to show Opatai that he's not going to be on the back foot all the time. Um, he didn't have much lateral movement or slipping. Anything to do with head work just wasn't there. Um, needs to uh, withstand Jai's combos. So Jai's combos were immense. And um, and Bride, Bridus just didn't really know how to cope with them sometimes. They was quick. They was coming in bunches. You can't blame anyone, you know. Um, so my argument, uh, not my argument, my advice is to Bridus, even though I'm nothing, and it, I, my advice means nothing, and, um, I, you know, I've, I'm not some professional boxer or trainer, uh, but I would say, you know, just a typical advice that he need's to work the body. You know, Opatire's got an engine. This guy's got an engine. He's the Australian engine, I'm going to call him. He can engine, he could do 15 rounds, no problem, that bloke. He has got um, the workflow, if you know a little bit about Opatire, um, he's been working since he was like eight years old, not working in the shops, but working boxing. Um, and he's he had to go out in the mornings and train, and he's got an engine, mate, I'm telling you. So you need to take that away if you can. If you can neutralise it, um, we don't know yet. <laughs> Um, too quick, so Jai's too quick, lots of combos, great in and out uh, boxing, Jai loves Usyk, and uh, broke his jaw, I forgot to mention, in uh, Opatire Bridus 1, so he bro broke his jaw um, in the round in round 2 apparently, that's what Eddie Hearn said, well, no, I've, he definitely, I think he did, but then I've read comments that say, no he didn't, he didn't bloody break his jaw, jaw. that's just uh, Hearn bigging him up, so I don't know. Either way, it's honestly, lads, it's going to be an amazing fight. A really, really good fight. I just hope 
it doesn't. I hope Bridus comes in with with more energy this time. I think hopefully he's learned that he can't just be on the back foot all the time. It's not going to work against Opatai. But then again, Opatai is going to pressure you, and eventually you're going to crack. Um, see you later.